Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a realistic, customizable drop shadow effect for text or any object the way I like to do it. Step 1. Create and animate your text. First, let's create a short text layer. This is the text we'll be adding the shadow to. Now to make things more interesting, let's animate it. Set a few keyframes for the position property to make your text move up and down or follow any path you like. This will add some dynamic movement to our shadow later on. Key tip. This technique works for any moving object in After Effects, not just text. So feel free to experiment with different shapes and animations. Pre-compose this text to make the editing process easier later. Step 2. Duplicate and position. Duplicate the text layer. This duplicate will become our shadow. Move the duplicate layer below the original text layer. Step 3. CC slant for the shadow. Now, apply the CC slant effect to the duplicate layer. This effect will give us the basic shape of our drop shadow. Pay attention to the floor setting in CC slant. This should align with the base of your text to make the shadow look grounded. Set the color of the shadow to black. Reduce the opacity of the shadow. Play around with the slant and perspective settings until you get the desired angle and depth. Step 4. Compound Blur for realism. To make the shadow more realistic, we'll use Compound Blur. This effect allows us to control the blur based on a separate layer, which we'll create next. Step 5. Create a blur map. Create a new solid layer and apply a gradient ramp effect. Adjust the gradient so it goes from black at the base of the text to white, where you want the shadow to fade out. Key tip, the blackest part of your gradient should start at the same level as the floor setting in CC Slant. Step 6. Composition for Blur Control. Pre-compose the gradient layer. Name this new composition something like Blur Map. Step 7. Apply Compound Blur. Go back to the Shadow layer. In the Blur layer drop-down, choose the Blur Map composition we just created. Adjust the maximum blur to your liking. Step 8. Fine-tune and admire. Take a moment to adjust the shadow's opacity, color, or any other settings to get the perfect look. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more After Effects tips and tricks. And if you have any questions or requests for future tutorials, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.